Okay, welcome to Drug Names Decoded. This is Dr. Guerra, and I'll be doing Chapter 6, the Cardiology Drugs. Uh, first, let me go through the drug classes. Uh, first are the diuretics. There's uh, four that are in the book, uh, but we're just going to go over a couple here. Uh, the loop diuretics, the thiazide diuretics, and the potassium sparing diuretics. They're the alpha blockers, in this case for hypertension. They can also be used for benign prostatic hyperplasia. The alpha agonist, the beta blockers, the ACE inhibitors, the angiotensin II receptor blockers, or the ARBs, the calcium channel blockers, or the CCBs, the antihyperlipidemics, which is just a fancy word for anti-cholesterol drugs or cholesterol-lowering drugs antiplatelet, anti those are a little bit different. We'll go over that in class. And then the antidysrhythmics. Sometimes you'll see this as antiarrhythmic, but an arrhythmia is actually technically no rhythm, and a dysrhythmia is a disordered rhythm. But you'll see them used interchangeably. The first drug is a potassium sparing diuretic. This is spironolactone, and the brand name is aldactone, A-L-D-A-C-T-O-N-E. And this is spironolactone. This is the first of two loop diuretics. This is bumetanide, which is bumex. It's bumetanide. The next drug is furosemide, Lasix, L-A-S-I-X, or furosemide. Next is a thiazide diuretic named for the suffix, it's hydrochlorothiazide. And I think a lot of students have trouble with this just because it's such a long word. But if you break it into three smaller words, it's much easier. So hydro, chloro, and thiazide. And the brand name for this might be something like hydrodiaryl. Next is terazosin, uh, is how I've always pronounced it, but I've also heard it as terazosin and that's Hytrin, H-Y-T-R-I-N, is the brand name. Uh, that's one of the alpha blockers. Then we move on to uh, just one of the alpha agonists, and this is clonidine, which is catapress, C-A-T-A-P-R-E-S, this is clonidine. The next group of drugs are the beta blockers and uh, very apparent by their suffix, the O-L-O-L, -L -L or L-O-L, -L, and this is metoprolol. This one gets mispronounced all the time because it's actually four syllables, metoprolol. But you'll hear it pronounced with the accent in the wrong place, pronounced metaprolol, and that's not correct. But this is metoprolol, and it's low pressor. L-O-P-R-E-S-S-O-R. This is atenolol, and you can see the O-L-O-L -L suffix. And this is mispronounced often because it has four syllables in it, but patients will often pronounce only three of them, and they'll pronounce it as atenol. But there are two syllables at the very end, H-T-E-N-O-L-O-L, -O -L, so atenolol is correct, and this is tenormin. The next class of drugs are the ACE inhibitors, and you can tell that it's an ACE inhibitor by the P-R-I-L, the pril, and this is enalapril, which is vasotec, V-A-S-O-T-E-C, it's enalapril. The next drug is lisinopril, so we know from the pril that it's another ACE inhibitor, okay. and this is lisinopril, and a brand name for this might be Zestril, Z-E-S-T-R-I-L. The next drug is losartan, losartan, and that S-A-R-T-A-N gives it away. That means it's an angiotensin II receptor blocker. That's Losartan, and the brand name for Losartan is Cozar, C-O-Z-A-A-R. 
The next drug with the sartan suffix is also an angiotensin II receptor blocker, or ARB, and this is valsartan, valsartan, and the brand name is Diovan, D-I-O-V-A-N. The next drug is in the calcium channel blocker class, and this is verapamil, or Kalin, C-A-L-A-N is the brand name, verapamil. Diltiazem is also a calcium channel blocker. Diltiazem, and the brand name is Cardizem, C-A-R-D-I-Z-E-M. The next calcium blocker, calcium channel blocker is Nifedipine. This is Nifedipine, and the brand name is Procardia, P-R-O-C-A-R-D-I-A. Next drug is actually a statin, and that's a bit of a misnomer, because to be an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, which this is a part of, it actually needs to be V-A-S-T-A-T-I-N, but health professionals really don't like anything that's more than two syllables, if at all possible, so we just call these statins, uh, mistakenly but atorvastatin is Lipitor, L-I-P-I-T-O-R, atorvastatin. The next drug is also an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, or a statin. And again, look at the suffix. It's V-A-S-T-A-T-I-N that makes it uh, a cholesterol-lowering drug, because you'll see something like nystatin, which is an antifungal, uh, and that doesn't qualify. This is simvastatin, and the brand name is Zocor. The next drug is Coumadin, which is Warfarin. Uh, Coumadin is the brand name, C-O-U-M-A-D-I-N. And this is an anticoagulant. That's not to be confused with uh, heparin, uh, which is something that's injectable. Uh, warfarin is by mouth and heparin is uh, always going to be given IV. The next drug is enoxaparin. That's enoxaparin. And you see that P-A-R-I-N is on the suffix of enoxaparin and heparin, and they're related. Uh, heparin uh, has to be given IV, uh, will be given in the hospital, but enoxaparin can be taken home uh, to be given uh, usually twice a day. And this is Lovenox, L-O-V-E-N-O-X. The next drug is Clopidogrel. This is Clopidogrel, and that's Plavix. It's an antiplatelet. Uh, the next drug is Digoxin. And Digoxin uh, can be used as an antidysrhythmic, and the brand name is Lanoxin, L-A-N-O-X-I-N. And the last drug is Lidocaine, L-I-D-O-C-A-I-N-E, L-I-D-O-C-A-I-N-E, and this is an antidysrhythmic, and the brand name is Xylocaine, X-Y-L-O-C-A-I-N-E.